Myanmar was until recently a closed country or society strictly controlled by a military junta and somewhat surprising the regime has changed, is changing and it appears that there is a genuine commitment to open up higher education as well. This is a situation of a country that is opening up after decades of totalitarianism, so it is very much something that interests us as a university dedicated to open society and democracy and how to support the development of open society and democracy. And it is also interesting for us because it is in a way similar to the situation in this part of the world after the fall of the communist regime when you know we have witnessed and perhaps influenced to some extent, to small extent, the transition from totalitarianism to democracy. So there are similarities and opportunities which are very interesting for CU considering the type of universities that we are. Education is very important. Education is very powerful to transform the society. Just in our Myanmar sayings, education is like light. This is the first major group of academics from the state sector of higher education in Myanmar to travel abroad on an extended academic capacity building visit. And for us, the organization that facilitated, that created this opportunity to them, it was, it was an easy answer where this first group uh, should be brought to, CEU. CEU in cooperation with, with OSF Higher Education Support Program has been running two faculty development workshops, one in international relations and the other in, in law. I'm the faculty director of the law program. We work in close cooperation with the departments of law in the University of Yangon and the University of Mandalay. We brought these seven fellows here for three months for an academic semester with two purposes. One purpose was to allow each of them individually to pursue their research agendas in collaboration with scholars at CU, with the access to excellent resources that CU has to offer. But on the other hand, there are also tremendous needs in Myanmar in developing new content of teaching, new courses, new academic programs, new curricula for the subjects that never existed or that were banned for several decades as Burma was under the totalitarian rule. For doing research, now Open Society Foundation with the help of OSF, Yangon University Library has began to upgrade the e-library. And then for we have e-library, the students and the faculties are very beneficial for us to get the e-resources from that e-library. Myanmar is truly at the crossroads today and there is tremendous expectation of the new role that the universities and the individual scholars can play there. The difficulty is, of course, that the universities or the individual scholars are not necessarily prepared to play this role. There are constraints that they feel as the legacy of the old system, there are constraints on individual self-expression, so they really need exposure and they need patient but intensive input, feedback and collaborative hand of the colleagues abroad. And this is, I think, what we are trying to achieve with this fellowship. What we want to work with is a team of local faculty that then go out, work individually, with colleagues, with students, on particular projects. And then, of course, our teachers too, and their instructors, and as a result, they share what they've learned. But then there is really a, a synergy between the two. They're, they're, then teaching and research become two faces of, of the same coin. There's a constant dialogue between, between the two. Without knowing the emerging trends in education, we educators cannot create the society's openness to new ideas and diversity. So that's why it can guarantee high quality educational system in this open society. Central European University is very useful and very good experience for us. It's for the for not only for the present, but also for the future life. 